A layer style is simply one or more layer effects, as well as blending options that apply to a layer. Master and layer styles can definitely make a huge difference in Photoshop. Today, let's talk about blending options. When you double-click a layer to create a layer style for the layer, blending options are always the very first option in the layer style by default. The blend mode and opacity in the top general blending and fill opacity in advanced blending are two most basic functions for the layers. And I have already explained these two functions in the previous videos. Welcome to check the videos and links in the description. And the blend if function at the bottom is which I think one of the most important function in the blending options. For better demonstration, please allow me to make a gradient on a new layer first. Then we double click this layer and there will be two sliders in the blend if section, which at the bottom of the blending options panel. When we drag the left slider of this layer, which closer to the darker side, we will find that the darker part of the gradient will be hidden. When if we drag the slider on the right side, which closer to the white, the bright part of the gradient will be hidden. And when we drag the slider, hold the option or Alt key can separate the slider into two. This will make the color transition in the hidden parts smoother. If we drag the slider of the underlying layer, we can show the darker parts and brighter parts of the layer below. This will be the basic principle of blend if. Blend if this layer for hide and blend if underlying layer for show. Next, let's take a look at what blend if this layer and underlying layer can do in some cases. For example, here I have a photo of a tree, but I want to replace the sky in this photo with another photo. The easiest way is to place the second photo layer under the tree photo layer first. Then, double-click the tree photo to create a layer style. Here we can try dragging the slider of blend if this layer first. We will find that the trees and sky in the entire photo start to be hidden. This is definitely not what we want. We need to first change the color next to blend if to blue. Because the sky is blue. And the sky is bright. So we drag the brighter side slider of this layer, which can easily hide the sky in this photo. Then, hold down the Option, or Alt key, to adjust the hidden color range and detail, so that you can achieve the effect of replacing the blue sky with the photo below. Another example is when we want to show something from the underlayer. For example, in this case, I want the text to get some of the texture from the wall. Just using the Blend option is not good enough. Then we can double-click the layer of this text and find the Blend If Underlying Layer slider. Drag the left side slider to show some black textures of the wall, and then the right side slider to show some white textures of the wall. In this way, you can easily get the effect of a text that looks like graffiti on the wall. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this demonstration can help. I'll leave the PSD file of this project in the description. Feel free to download. And you are welcome to go to the Layer Style playlist to watch more Photoshop Layer Style videos you want to know about. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'll keep uploading.